Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and get up and running with your brand new Brother wireless laser printer. Now if you've taken our classes before, you've heard me say this before, that the problem with printers these days is that so many of them are just so poorly designed or they have cartridges that constantly need to be replaced, which is the big reason why I am such a big fan of laser, because laser uses toner, which is a powder. It's not going to dry out just because, you know, you went away on vacation for a month and then, oh, forgot to use the printer, now i got to replace the cartridges. It doesn't work that way. So with these, these printers, yes, they are a little bit more expensive than, for example, the Canon printer that we recommend on our website, but these tend to last longer and they're more efficient um, and tend to pay for themselves over time. So let's go over it. First of all, if you haven't bought it yet, you can help us out a little bit. If you go to our website at pcclassesonline.com slash store, you'll see here that we have, uh, we're an Amazon associate. So that just means that we can recommend products on Amazon. If you buy it through our website, you get it at the exact same price as you would pay by going directly to Amazon, but we get a very small kickback from them. So here under the printers category, here are the four printers that we endorse. You'll see that two of them are made by Canon, two of them are made by Brother. Both tend to be good companies. Um, I'd actually say that Brother is arguably a better company just in terms of their quality and reliability. And this is the one that we're going to be setting up today. It is the MFC 7860DW. As of today's date, it's marked at 199 if you actually go to Brother's website, which is interesting, it's listed for $100 more at $299. So you just buy the printer here. It does come with toner. I'm not 100% certain if it's a fully stocked toner cartridge. Um, but that being said, I've been using it for months on, the, on that same stock one. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to break for just a second, and I'm going to show you the wireless setup from the printer side. So you're gonna see the screen of the printer. I'm gonna walk you through the different steps and then we're gonna come back here because there are two steps that you're going to need to do on your computer regardless of whether or not you're on a Mac or a PC to finish the process. So here we have the printer and so what we're gonna do is first hit the menu button. Now we're gonna use the arrow down icon to go down to number six which is going to be your network setup options. Tap the OK key. Now go down to number two, which is WLAN, hit OK again. Hit the down arrow to go to the second option, which is Setup Wizard, and hit OK again. So at this point, what it's going to do is it's going to be looking for all the different wireless networks in the area. So yours may be first, it may be second. You're going to use those arrows to scroll through. You'll see it's going to find mine in just a second here. And after it does and you hit OK, you're going to need to type in, there we go, hit OK. Now you need to type in the password to your wireless network. Now I'm going to hit the number four over and over again. And if you look at the screen, it goes from lowercase to uppercase and then eventually it indicates the number as well. So all of those items are there. If you have symbols in your network, you can use the little star uh, key or the pound symbol to go through those options should you have any of them in your network. Once you've done that, the rest is all done from the computer. So let's go back to the computer side. So now that you've got it set up from the printer end, now we need to hook it up to the computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to this website. Now this is a really long website, so if you're watching this regardless on YouTube or our website, in the description of the video, you're going to find a link to where you can get to this site. This is Brothers page where they store their drivers. In case you didn't know, basically a driver, think of it like the mailman. Okay, the mailman takes the letter from your house to its destination. That's basically what a driver does between your computer and the printer itself. So from here, you're going to tell it what OS you have, whether Windows or Mac. Okay, you'll see here that if you are a Mac owner and you're using Mavericks, yes, there is support for this, so no worries there. From here, you can probably guess where we're going. We're going to click on the CUPS printer driver. Okay, so now all you have to do is click this little agree button at the bottom and it's going to go into your downloads folder, which I've already done. So let's go there. 
Mac owners, you're going to click on the little finder icon, Happy Mac, at the bottom left of your screen. Go into Downloads, and here it is. You're just going to double click, and this is going to just walk you through the different steps to install the driver. Now, when you install the driver, that does not mean that your printer is ready to go. There's still one more step that you're going to need to do. Now, Windows users, at this point, um, it's going to be very, very similar. So I'm going to walk you through both options from here. Starting with Mac users, once you've installed that driver, okay, and you're just going to click on that last little icon that you saw right here, just double click on it. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions, which are mostly continue, yes, agree, blah, blah, blah. When you're done with that, you're going to go to the Apple menu at the top left of your screen. Go here into System Preferences. Go under Printers and Scanners. You can tell I've already done it at this point. And simply click the little plus symbol and you'll see that it is going to be listed right here. Hopefully it won't say David's MacBook Air, in which case I'm in the room. Surprise! No, I'm kidding. Uh, PC users, if you are at this point, uh, what you're going to do is just go into Control Panel, uh, Printers, add a new printer and it's again it's the same process from there so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video if you're watching us on YouTube you can give us that little thumbs up like symbol uh, I stand by this printer and I will not put my name on just any product but uh, the brother printers that they make are just really really well built I recommend these for everyone whether you're a small business or just an individual at home one little trick I want to give you to uh, end on is that if you want to be able to print from your iPhone or iPad to this type of printer, it does not come built in so that you can do that. However, we have created tutorial videos showing you how to make a non-AirPrint printer AirPrint compatible. Um, now, the problem with those videos is that they constantly need to be updated because the technology changes so quickly. So I just want to very, very briefly, while I have your attention, show you how I do it. Um, so there's this little handy um, accessory, oops, I don't have it here, um, which you can go to by going to netpooting.com, sort of like computing, but netpooting, and it's called Handy Print, and it's a really sorry pun intended handy application uh, it's very simple download uh, you can donate whatever you want you can donate a dollar five dollars whatever you want and it uh, just links up your printer so that you can now print to it from an iPhone or an iPad the only downside to using this feature by the way is that if you're going to print from your iPhone or iPad the computer that it's hooked up to needs to be on even if it's a laptop so just be aware of that. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all, everyone. Take care. Bye.